My presentation analyzes the BBC Three's successful move to online streaming in its response to the macroenvironmental factor that caused it to be pulled off TV. The macroenvironmental force is an external force that a company cannot control. According to Armstrong et al, environmental factors include demographic, economic, natural, technological, political, and cultural. According to Armstrong et al, changes in the demographic environment have dramatic impacts on companies, and the BBC Three was no exception to this. The BBC Three channel was pulled from TV in February 2016 due to the channel's audience falling. The BBC Three channel's target audience was youth between the age of 16 and 34. A target market that no longer prioritised broadcast television, according to Foxcom, a communication service regulator in the UK. In response to this macro-environmental factor, the channel announced its intention to move online to iPlayer. This move risked a 3 to 3.5% fall in the 16 to 34 target audience range and up to a 5% fall in black audiences and women in lower income households. This predicted fall of the particular target market segments caused the BBC Three to redefine their target market to include demographic variable of medium to high income earners. The BBC Three further segmented their target market by taking into account their behavioural characteristics. Streaming user status usage rate needed to be included to define a profitable target market of people that are likely to use the BBC Three's new platform. This segmentation was key as according to Five Public's model, it's easier to change aware publics, those that are potential users, into active publics those that have a usage rate, but it is to convince publics that are unaware, so users that just don't use streaming services. The BBC Three was able to control their target market, but had no control over the marketplace. The BBC Three was entering an extremely congested marketplace, so it became extremely important for the company to differentiate itself from other streaming sites. In 2016, when the BBC Three began streaming, it entered a competitive marketplace with streaming sites like Netflix, BT TV, Amazon Prime, Crackle, YouTube, Snag Films, Now TV, Blinkbox, and Talk TV. To compete against the competition, the BBC Three had to differentiate itself. Armstrong et al. defines the process in three stages. One, identifying a set of differentiating competitive advantages upon which to build a position. Two, choosing the right competitive advantages. Three, selecting the overall positioning strategy. Armstrong et al. continues saying, marketers must understand consumer needs better than the competitors do to deliver more consumer value. This is exactly what the BBC Three did to difference itself from the competition. The BBC Three understood their target market's move to the online platform and recognised the need for the target market to use social media, not only to be engaged, but to be entertained. In the launch of the BBC Three Online, they created an entertaining TV series called 13 and accompanied it with an engaging campaign, Find the Girl. In the first episode of 13, they introduced viewers to Ivy Moxon, a girl who escaped after being held captive for 13 years. The first episode ended with an announcement that another girl had been taken. The new mystery gave way to the digital marketing campaign, Find the Girl. They're saying another girl's been snatched. Just like, well, just like Ivy Moxon was. Oh, geez. Find the Girl is an online companion piece to 13, so it will run alongside the main drama. We knew there was an appetite to do something online to really showcase the fact 
13 was going to sit in this new home. We wanted to engage the traditional viewer, but also the online viewer. It's a great opportunity to have some fun in terms of overlapping in some way or you know rewarding the audience with a perspective on the show and seeing little clues here and there that might answer the questions in the online story but also might feed into the main story in the main world of 13. This began what turned into a successful digital marketing campaign that used a range of different content and platforms to engage users. Twitter was the primary campaign media vehicle but other platforms were incorporated into the digital marketing campaign. So the main drive of the project is coming from Sarah Hayes, the character, on her Twitter account and also on the way that she brings together the key pieces of evidence that she might share as images or as videos that she posts on YouTube curated through a, a Tumblr page. There's also some unique standalone interactive narrative puzzles that the audience need to solve. And I think what's going to be really fascinating about this is the way that it will exist online. People will be able to talk to that character and leave comments on Tumblr, but also the new BBC Three website will be the home of, of this project when it comes to promoting it, to seeing how you can get involved, and also to recap on some of the key assets that are going to be delivered as part of the story. The hashtag was used by the public who shared their ideas and helped Sarah find the missing girl. This two-way communication approach created an interactive experience for the fans of the show that expanded beyond Twitter. Sarah regularly tweeted fans to her blog and YouTube account. But in all aspects of this campaign, user engagement was required. The success of this campaign really did rely on the consumer's behaviour online. Armstrong et al. describes online social networking sites as online communities where people socialise and exchange information and ideas. The BBC3 recognised this and used their campaign to take advantage of these communities. Find the Girl campaign's new and innovative approach was successful in influencing the social behaviours of these online communities. This is a feat that is admirable, considering social networking and marketing attempts tend to backfire. On the same page, Armstrong et al. referenced failed attempts of the hashtag used by companies such as Taxi Cancel Victoria. While the BBC Three's campaign did use a hashtag, the hashtag use was made clear in the post by Sarah and she constantly engaged with people to help regulate the kind of content that they were hashtagging. BBC3's marketing approach not only advertised the new series of 13, but promoted the BBC3's new presence online. This marketing strategy set the tone for the BBC3 on online and layered their foundations that led to the platform's success. This innovative marketing approach produced successful results with news stories reporting a 2.5% increase in iPlayer requests six months after the BBC Three's move there. And a year after the BBC's move online, it was reported to have reached 8.5% of their target market, a huge jump from the 3.2% market share they had when they first moved online. In this article, the BBC3 controller David Cavengar linked the success to the continued viewing of programs such as 13. These results prove the innovative marketing approach successfully engaged the target market and encouraged the target market to use the BBC3's new platform, creating a successful move for the BBC and a successful future for the new platform.